So there's a new exhibition at the Cleveland Museum of Art, and it's, and it's a terrific one. You know, Clevelanders will, well, Clevelanders and beyond will know the name Keithley Instruments. This company was founded by Joseph F. Keithley in Cleveland in 1946. Here's a picture of uh, uh, Joseph P. and Nancy F. Keithley. It's showing at the Cleveland Museum of Art now. So, 1946, Keithley came up with his first product, the Phantom Repeater. Um, was used by physicists and chemists and engineers, the development of hearing aids and amplifiers, you know. Um, the second product really made the company take off, an electrometer. And now they have about 500 products, uh, mostly in the testing and measurement products, you know, electrometers, voltmeters, signal generators, things like that. In 1964, Keithley moved uh, from Cleveland to Solon and later in 2010 was sold and then merged so now it exists wholly as a brand of uh, Tektronics Incorporated but uh, to us Clevelanders especially it's, it's Keith Lee and so there's a new exhibit at the Cleveland Museum of Art it runs from September 11th this year 2022 to January 8th 2023 and it's called Impressionism to Modernism the Keith Lee Collection okay and it's a celebration of this extraordinary gift and promise gift of art made by uh, Joseph and Nancy Keithley to the museum. In, in March of 2020, the Keithleys gave more than 100 works of art to the museum. And that's the most significant gift since uh, Leonard Hanna did in 1958. So it's not just a huge collection. It, it's very diverse and covers a lot of styles. You know, the Keithley's collection focuses on Impressionist, Post-Impressionist, and Modern European and American paintings. So you'll see some works by familiar names like this Picasso here, uh, Henri Matisse, Andrew Wyeth. But if you're more of an amateur like me, you'll be exposed to some amazing works by new, at least to me, artists such as Maurice, uh, Denis, Georges Braque, Joan Mitchell, and others. You should really plan on spending some time in each of the themed rooms. For example, there's a, a natural room where they have you know, a lot of fruits and, and tulips and, and items like this. These are some uh, pages from a Britannic in the 1800s. Or fruits and flowers like this. It's This was one of my favorite rooms. For me, it was finding uh, paintings like this. This is by Maurice Denis, who uh, I had never heard of before, but it just kind of spoke to me. I kind of, I liked it. And then I saw um, there's more by Denis here, including, including this, which he calls the Orange Christ. It's just, I don't know, I like it. And it's not just paintings. Um, also including the exhibition is a selection of European and American decorative arts. So the, Cle the Keithleys also collected Chinese and contemporary Japanese ceramics. Um, what's cool is you will see Asian ceramics shown alongside Western paintings and drawings. And, you know, that's how the Keithleys like to display them, I guess. This is a... Uh, a global workspace it's pretty cool imagine that having that in your house for some reason I really like this uh, this work by Joan Mitchell um, maybe it's because I like the title so much so much it's just called some more so some more you know I guess she had some and then she painted some more and it's uh, I don't know it's just one of my favorites and I guess the collection here it wasn't all haphazard you know they collected for a couple of decades and some of it um, they selected works of art to complement and enrich the uh, Cleveland Museum of Arts collection so they they knew what they were doing all along here so sometimes they collected items that built on the strength of what the museum had already and sometimes they acquired a work of art that would bring something entirely new to the collection here are a couple of my favorites these two uh, owl jars, ancient Chinese owl jars, a pair of them there. Um, just, you know, you got to smile when you look at them. And another favorite is this, you know, it looks like origami, right? I mean, it's, it's paper thin, looks like some paper folded nicely, but that's actually porcelain. So, can you imagine the uh, dexterity and the skill needed to make something like this out of porcelain it, it's so thin and it like I say it looks like paper and a, a piece of origami so you know can you imagine having these works in your home it's really something 
Fortunately for all of us, the Keithley's generosity lets us enjoy these 100 plus works of art. So let's take a, a quick walk through. So here's a, uh, here's a picture of the Keithley's, Nancy and Joseph Keithley's. They've been longtime supporters of the Cleveland Museum of Art. Um, you know, Keithley Instruments, uh, Mr. Keithley was an engineer. And it's more than a hundred works in their gift. And it ties in with a lot of the art already here in the Cleveland Museum of Art. It's really uh, pretty impressive. This is an uh, installation view of Keithley's collection in their Cleveland, Ohio home prior to the gift. Uh, to the Cleveland Museum of Art in 2020. So can you imagine living in a house like this with this kind of artwork there? It's incredible. When you first come in, you'll see a timeline of selected donors of art over the years from Jephthah Wade throughout the years. Some names you'll recognize. Severance Prentice and Bickford, and there's the George Gunn III, it comes of course, Keith Lee is the most recent here. And each room is broken up into uh, the different styles and the different artists. So here we have George Brock's um, European decorative arts, old master drawings. There's also some physical. Not just paintings and wall hangings, but uh, like this, this beautiful globe work table, just like the one I have in my house. Another room, you see some of these uh, natural, natural world objects. Um, and again, some of these, like the eight botanical prints, four of gifts are Keith Lee's, others from the, the collection. Here's some uh, fruit from Britannica. This, these eight uh, from an 1812 manuscript, part of the natural collection. And then you'll see a variety of, I like this one, this procession by Maurice Denis. Tulips. Then we've got a room of French landscapes. And along with that, we have here's a box of Japanese crested ibises in the lotus pond from 2006. So, not just wall hangings, including this uh, large jar uh, from Japan. The Muromachi period, 1392 to 1573. And this, I really like this. These are uh, a pair of owl-shaped jars from China, uh, the Henan province, Western Han Dynasty in uh, about 206 BC. So a pair of owl-shaped That's one of my favorites. I have lithographs. There's a, uh, each room you could spend a lot of time in. And you should, here's a room of portraits and nudes. got this room. It's got some Picassos and Brock and Caleb Balls. There's a couple of Picassos. Uh, 
And then you see something like this, where it's chickens, game birds, and hares, and on cameras from Caleb Bob. It's really, the diversity is impressive. Each room has something, and it's pretty surprising, actually. And then you got the American landscape. They also collected American, including uh, from Northeast Ohio artist Joseph Osicki. So there's American pieces here. Andrew Wyeth. And then we get into some abstraction. So while there's the common thread, I guess, is that it's things that Keith Lee's liked. You know, there's groupings, but there's everything from landscapes to ancient pottery to abstractions. And then we get even more abstract. This is a room dedicated to Joan Mitchell, in fact, who their tastes were obviously very diverse and probably evolved over the years. I like this one. She's got all these. This one, the t maybe she ran out of titles after a while. This one's called Some More, Some More from 1980. So. And then this is, this is incredible and a favorite of uh, uh, a lot. This is called Forms of Secession Number 11. It's Japanese, 89 to 2019, and it's, this is porcelain, believe it or not. It looks like origami, it looks like paper. It's razor thin, it's paper thin, but it's porcelain. And uh, so that's ceramic art somehow but it sure looks like thin paper that if you said it was origami, uh, you'd believe it. So that's one of my favorites. So as you can see, there's a lot of diversity in their collection and it's, people like different things. As it says here, people who might collect all sorts of things, from sports memorabilia to video games to refrigerator magnets. Just as the Keithley collection reflects the personal taste of Nancy and Joe Keithley, all collections are personal and driven by the passion of the collector. So they have this area here at the end where you can fill out what do you collect and join the conversation. And here's some, it's pretty interesting. So here's drink garnishes and chickens and books and quotes, t-shirts, memories, stories. Fossils, salt and pepper shakers, friends, soccer jerseys. It's pretty uh, fascinating. By the end of the exhibit, pianos, wow. Heart-shaped rock. So it's, if you come down here, be sure to show what you collect. So this new exhibition, Impressionism to Modernism, the Keith Lee Collection, it'll be displayed from September 11th, 2022 to January 8th, 2023 in the Kelvin and Eleanor Smith Foundation Exhibition Hall in the Cleveland Museum of Art. So the best thing to do is go to the uh, clevelandart.org um, under exhibitions, and you'll see the Keith Lee collection there to get details on ticketing, when you can see it, all that stuff. But it's really worth uh, spending some time there. It's an amazing collection, and it's a, a very generous gift to the Cleveland area and the world by the Keithleys.